The family of Morgan Harrington begins a new chapter to honor their daughter's memory. Five years ago tonight, police announced remains found on an Albemarle County farm were the missing Virginia Tech student. That ended three months of searching for 20-year-old Morgan and started five years of searching for a murder suspect. With a man the Harringtons believe killed her behind bars, they have a new focus. NBC 29's Matt Talholm is here with a story you'll see only on NBC 29. Hi, Matt. Good evening, Steve and Casey. Anchorage Farm, where Morgan's remains were found discarded in a field, has a new name. A suspect's face that Morgan's mother called Sketch for five years has a name. And tonight, the network of supporters who've rallied behind the Harringtons has a name. Team Justice. We still have disbelief uh, that how could someone have murdered our precious Morgan? It wasn't supposed to be like this. I hate like hell that that was her destiny was to be killed at 20. Her daughter's bedroom suspended in time. The first couple of years we wandered around in a fog. Jill Harrington survives Mom, with the memory of her life. final moment with Morgan, a mother's scared. message. Two, four, one. I love you too much forever and once beyond forever. Morgan left her parents' Roanoke home October 17, 2009, heading with friends to the Metallica concert at the John Paul Jones Arena in Charlottesville. She vanished from a nearby bridge, abducted into the night. Morgan, 241. The message played out this time, a plea to bring Morgan home. We are trying, honey, hang on. That search would end January 26, 2010. The remains are those of Morgan Dana Harrington, the 20-year-old Virginia Tech student. An Albemarle County farmer discovered Morgan's remains in a pasture that cold winter day. All those clouds looked like a bruise moving across the sky. Five years later. We're finding our new family. The Harringtons are forming a family of strangers. Jill leads a network of volunteers from her home basement headquarters of the nonprofit Help Save the Next Girl. They are all our precious children. You don't draw the line that mine only do I want to save. It's too late for Morgan. Let's save the next one. We are always, always helping other families. Are you putting certain sizes in? Okay. Amanda St. Clair felt drawn to the Harringtons in the days after Morgan's disappearance. The mother of a college-aged daughter has helped yeah, help save the next girl grow <laughs> from five awesome. chapters on college and high school campuses to 20. They talk about, you know, stranger danger with kids when they're little, but when you get to a certain point in school, it's kind of forgotten about. Help Save the Next Girl reaches worldwide on social media, designing flyers with faces of the missing, creating personal safety curriculum for classrooms, even lobbying lawmakers to change how Virginia mobilizes resources to search for missing persons. Our product is our message. That message is morphing. 2015 is the year of justice. This will be the spring of justice. Morgan's memory blooms in the colorful Blacksburg home of her here, art teacher at I Virginia Tech. Something. Morgan sat on the floor exactly where my chair is now. Jane Lillian Vance welcomed Stairs Morgan's class her into her home food. the semester I before her murder. Her because her eyes were just sparkling and I said, what Morgan? What is it in your eyes? And she said simply, my mom needs to come here. And she would, a sketch. I said, you don't know me. I taught your daughter. I loved her. I saw her. I have something that belongs to you. Brought the artist and the anguished mother together in the year after Morgan's murder. We spoke the same language of loyalty. And help save the next girl was in my veins before Jill invented the words for it. That bond allowed Vance to complete two paintings for the Harringtons. The Hunted depicts the field where Morgan's body was found. A portrait shows the sparkle in her eyes. Blended in the brush strokes of each are Morgan's cremated remains. And Morgan knew the beauty and the detail and commitment of this place. That's what I try to do in these paintings. I tell stories. Vance's studio is the starting point now for all new Help Save the Next Girl chapters. This is the crew we are for Help Save the Next Girl. This is the deepest kind of commitment you can have. Ian Heflin lives that commitment. You know, every day, you know, Morgan is part of my life. You have been so loyal to Morgan, who sat beside you. After meeting Morgan in Vance's class. You don't expect those people to change your life that you sit in class with, but so many of them have, and especially Morgan. He's coordinating Help Save the Next Girl's newest phase, Team Justice. 
Morgan died so young, but she was so open to the world. And now the rest of the world is opening up too, and that's justice. The team emerges from the sense of relief that the man they suspect killed Morgan is behind bars. Justice means this person will not hurt anyone else. The nonprofit is selling yeah, these limited I edition <laughs> t-shirts on this fifth anniversary to support its outreach efforts. Logos for all 20 chapters cover the front, the dots of two, four, one on the back. The reach is magnificent. It matters. We keep going. We are tireless and it's effortless to be tireless when Morgan is near. Jill Harrington wow. promises goodness will the prevail. Goodness. We are making sure that she is the uh, catalyst for some good in the world, a lot of good. As this mother and her team create a life for Morgan. Well, I think she's orchestrating some of this because some of the things they could be happening without a celestial assist. The Albemarle County Commonwealth's attorney has not charged anyone with Morgan's abduction and murder at this point. The Team Justice t-shirts are selling now online to benefit Help Save the Next Girl and its mission. We've put a link at NBC29.com and I've checked in. They have sold more than 230 of these t-shirts just since 10:15 this morning when they went on sale. That's the time that police called Morgan Harrington's mother and said, we found your remains five years ago. And it's amazing the support that's come not just in the days and, and weeks after her body was found, but in the years since. It really is the remarkable thing about all of this is that these are all strangers. None of these people knew each other before this case and before Mor Morgan's death. And now they're all together, working together, trying to get this message across so that another young woman out there doesn't become the victim of a predator. Incredible. Thank you, Matt. Thank you.